We're not going to see a picture, are we? God, this is a life, isn't it? He was the master at falling over. I mean, he was brilliant at it. He, I don't know how he did it, and he did it with such style and elan. He would suddenly be standing, and then he'd be on the floor. People think that slapstick is something that is maybe slapdash and, and just made up and, and rubbish, but it's not. Norman Wisdom has got it off to a really fine art. <laughs> Long before I met him was the most popular film star in this country. I remember going to see a film of his, I got to the cinema and they were lined up right round the block of the whole cinema. There must have been about five or six hundred, maybe even more than that, people lined up four deep to see his latest film. You got my leather. What have I done? The fact he's dauntless, that was the wonderful thing about him, that he could, there he was at the bottom of the whole social pile, and he simply didn't recognise this. I'm as good as you lot. What? Now what? I'll let me cap up there, tuck it down, will you? Oh, cap. Hey, what time in the morning? I've already told you, 7.30 sharp. Oh. Hey, we'll get to shout about 7, eh? And keep our fingers! He was the last of the proletarian comedians, really. I think a lot of his comedy comes clearly from uh, a very, very, very difficult childhood. Uh, and I think the way Norman personally dealt with the difficulty of his upbringing was through comedy. But the humiliation that he puts himself through on the stage, the routine with the, the boxing machine and so on. He wrings laughs out of his humiliation and that comes instinctively but very deeply from, from his psyche, I'm sure. My parents were divorced and split up when I was nine and my dear brother was eleven. My father was a chauffeur and when mother left home he was brutal. I can remember being cheeky, a little bit cheeky perhaps sometime, and he picked me up and threw me like that. And I, I hit the ceiling and then came down in the corner. I hit the ceiling. And then he just walked out and left me there. My mother used to come and see myself and my brother at school and you know, after school sometimes, just come and see us. About once a month, or something like that. But one Christmas day, she bought me a bicycle. It was a, a fairy cycle. And I went home, I was so delighted with this. Oh, so excited. And my father said, what, what's that? I said, it's a fairy cycle, Dad. He said, where'd you get that? I said, Mum gave it to me. 
He grabbed it out of my hand and stumped and stumped and stumped, smashed it to bits. <laughs> Unkind. When I'd left school, he opened the door, came in, just looked at me and said, out. And he opened the door and I went out. And I remember I walked down the steps, just in the front, in front of the door, walked down the steps and he slammed the door and I turned around and I said, I'll never see you again, Dad. And I never did. <laughs> 